What do you make of government intervention thus far? I, you know, I've actually been very engaged with public policymakers over the last 10 years. Um, you know, I started writing about issues around housing affordability in the Bay Area in California about 10 years ago and then helped. For, uh, I was part of the formation of an organization that shepherds about a half a dozen uh, pieces of legislation into state law every year. And so I have this kind of deep bench of expertise and a deep network around engaging with public policymakers. And so there are a circle of us that are about, you know, 50, 100 or more folks in the venture capital industry and tech founders who have been communicating for a very, very long time around, um, you know, the implications of our industry with respect to, you know, governance and the larger community and society at large. And so, you know, on Friday morning when we saw that the, uh, the FDIC had put Silicon Valley Bank into receivership, there was all the internal work that we were doing at Initialized Capital to the firm in terms of triaging our portfolio, figuring out who had to make payroll, you know, the, the next week. And then also, at the same time, I was doing a lot more external-facing work with this group of 50 or so folks, literally in a WhatsApp chat group, figuring out how to draft memos to mm -hmm. send out to policymakers to help them understand the real-world the real world implications of this. Um, you know, for a startup, um, not only was it the issue of figuring out how to pay uh, talent and to pay employees the following week, even the level of uncertainty around, you know, what the initial dividend was going to be, um, you know, startups make very explicit plans over, yeah. you know, how they're going to spend their burn and runway over a matter of months and years. And then not having certainty over that really, you know, throws a wrench into their ability to provide uh, their team members with, um, you know, the kind of long term support that they need. Um, and Let's so just getting that message across that support was really important. Because have you had to decide who are your winners, who are your losers? Are you having to dial back on writing checks at this moment just because of the enveloping crisis that's around us? No, no, not at all. I mean, we're doing, we're doing deals every week. I mean, I made an offer last week, um, in fact. Ah. Um, so, I mean, we're, we're, we're very, very active. But for what, for what we needed to do, you know, last, last Friday is we went through the portfolio. We, f we had to figure out who banked with whom. Um, you know, if they banked with SVB, what was their level of exposure, how much they were able to transfer out versus not, if they had to make payroll the following week. And then we had to go and figure out what our actual, like, literal immediate um, exposure was. And that was actually, thankfully, pretty small. But, you know, we had to be prepared to be in a position to help our companies, you know, pay their employees. So, you know, you know, we didn't end up having to do that because of the, 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 the um, announcement on, on Sunday yeah. afternoon, thankfully. Um, but it was definitely an incredibly stressful weekend, and I remember getting the news that morning. I actually worked in, at, for Bloomberg, you know, oh, 15 years disclosure. ago, and so you know, I was just I, I I had this feeling of oh my gosh, this is this is like the Lehman Day. This is yeah. going to be a Lehman. This is going to be a Lehman weekend. <laughs> but, does, but, um, but then so. you're still writing checks, and so yeah. who do you write checks to? Are, is it only generative AI companies? Is, are you still able to remain focused on the breadth of types of founders that you back? Because you've got 175 plus active portfolio companies. You're across climate to fintech to you know you name it, the sector you're on. Yeah, um, Initialized Capital has always been a generalist seed firm, and we've always kind of led the, you know, let the, the best and brightest founders kind of take us to, you know, whatever the next trend is. Um, I've done, a, I'm, I've been doing a lot of deals in the climate space. Um, we have another, uh, you know, our managing partner Brett Gibson has done a lot of deals. He's increasingly looking at generative AI and has a long, uh, deep and deep history in, in doing, you know, crypto and, and um, crypto deals yeah. as well. And so. You know, we do a lot of deals in a lot of different spaces. Um, you know, for me, uh, because of my background, as I mentioned at the beginning, um, climate obviously has a lot of implications, you know, in terms of getting the private sector and private entrepreneurs to innovate and getting them to work with public policymakers to address this, um, you know, just enormous, enormous problem. How confident are you that problems like that can be solved at this moment when you're having to put together memos for policymakers called cascade bank failure scenarios? Are are we still in that scenario right now, or do you think you can get back to the job of writing checks and founders building companies? Um, I mean, I, I mean, I honestly think more of the, you know, obviously in you know the day-to-day -day bank stability coverage that you're doing. I think it, it's probably affecting your side more than it is ours now. I think um, the FDI, you know, the Feds, the uh, the FDIC coming to assure depositors at SVB was a really important signal. Um, for a lot of uh, founders and investors in the space. And so, like, the immediate payroll needs and that concern um, has been assuaged. And so we are continuing to do new deals. Obviously, we're making, 
you know, much, we're being much more proactive about the advice we're giving in terms of mm -hmm. how founders and companies should diversify where they're, um, where they're having holdings and being much more thoughtful around, you know, where they have access to short-term cash versus where they're keeping their kind of midterm needs.